Howdy ladies and gents, my name is Tom Gibson and in this video I'm going to talk about how to edit a talking head video like this one like a pro. The main purpose of this video is to show you how to do it pretty quickly and how to do it in that really punchy style that's pretty common in YouTube videos like in Philip DeFranco videos or virtually any other talking head YouTube video. Okay, before I actually start the edit, there's a few quick keys that I want to go over. I like to keep my left hand on the left side of the keyboard and then my right hand on the mouse or on the trackpad. So there are some default keyboard shortcuts that I move to the left side to make that easier. So on Windows, it's gonna be Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts. I think it might be under File if you're on a Mac. Um, I've already got them set up here, but if you do, instead of having Zoom In and zoom out, zoom out as the plus and the equal, or the plus and the minus or equal sign over here, I do them as one and two. So I can just use my pinky and my ring finger. So the way you can change that is you can just go Zoom Out, find it, and then you can just click and drag it to the one that you want. It's not changing it because that's already what I already have up there. Gonna do the same thing with zoom in. You just click and drag it to the one that you want to change it to. The other two that I change, instead of having my left and my right where I move forward one frame or move backward one frame and move forward one frame, um, I like to have that at D and F so I can use my middle finger and my index finger just to move back and forth one frame. So you can just do step back one frame, click and drag that to D, and then step forward, yeah, one frame click and drag that to F. Those are the two that I do. Um, you don't have to do this, but J, K, and L, is, J is like uh, rewind, K is stop, uh, L is fast forward. I have them at four, five, and six if you wanna be able to fast forward stuff pretty quickly and you can search those and drag them up as well. So we can go with that. And so this is the clip that we're working with. I like to stretch out this audio. It usually starts out like that. I like to stretch it out quite a bit so I can see where my pauses are because I know that that's where I'm either stopping and thinking about what I want to say or where I repeated things until I said it the way I wanted to say it. So let's uh, first take a look at some of these gaps Day real quick. here in Switzerland started with breakfast and then we went to go get a rental car because we... All right, so that seems like a pretty insignificant gap. I like to keep things a little bit tighter. So I switched to the C, the razor, by using C. Uh, cut right there. And here is where the Q and the W also come in handy. They're defaulted uh, quick keys, so you don't have to change them. But I want to delete everything from here back. But I don't want to do cut, switch to the arrow, click, delete, and then drag. I don't want to do that. That's a lot of steps. Um, I can do that with the click of one button. I can make this initial cut at the beginning of where I want to start getting rid of the clips. And then I move to the spot. I can use my D and my F keys now to move forward and backward by one frame at a time. And I don't want to cut off what I'm going to say. So I'll come back here and I'm going to hit Q. So it cut everything out in front up into the beginning of that clip and then it actually dragged it back a little bit. So let's listen to that. Rental car because we would be driving. Okay, just a little bit tighter. Down to Italy today. We were gonna go check out Lake Como. And Same thing with right here. Arrow over. There we go. Q. And then listen. Como in the northern part of Italy. Perfect. And then I stop. And then I cut right there. Um, right here, I'm assuming I said things several times because the waveform kind of looks the same at the beginning. But let's take a listen. Originally, we were going to get a standard vehicle. Yeah, I didn't like that. Originally, we were going to get a manual transmission because it was a little bit cheaper. So I was plan. I was the. Okay. Originally, we were going to get a standard transmission. Originally, we were going to get a manual transmission. And so, if I have, feel like there's several of them, and I kind of want to fast forward, this is where that four, five, and six, four is backward. Four is backwards, five is stop, and six is fast forward. I'm going to fast forward a little Originally, bit. Originally, we were going to get a manual transmission vehicle because it was a little bit cheaper, uh, and so. Okay, so here I kept, this was the one I kept with the, originally we were going to get, a, I kept that one right here. That was the, the final one that I said. So I want to delete all this stuff before it and then drag this back. So I'm going to use my Q. There we go. It's way back here now. Part of Italy. Originally we were going to get a manual transmission vehicle because it was a little bit cheaper. Uh, and so since I have the most experience. Okay, so really this part needs to come back here. So let me come here cut right there. I'm using the C and the V tool a lot to cut between um, the razor and the, the, the regular selection tool. Um, drag my play ad, zoom in with number two, Q. All right, let's listen. Deeper, since I have the most exp I can actually probably take one or two frames out of there. All right. It was a little bit cheaper. Since I have the most experience with manual transition, I was gonna be the driver, but it turns out it was an automatic. 
there we go. And, and then I just go through and continue to do that. And this whole, what, maybe like nine minute clip uh, ends up being like four and a half minutes maybe. And so it's a lot punchier, a lot tighter. Um, and it doesn't take me as long since I've got these quick keys set up so I don't have to move my hands nearly as much. So hopefully that helps you edit your talking head videos a little bit faster and make them a little bit punchier and more to the point. If this video was helpful, leave a like because that'll help other people find it and it'll hopefully help them as well. And if you'd like to stay in the loop with any upcoming filmmaking tutorials, as well as a wide variety of content, subscribe below. My name is Tom Gibson. I hope you learned something today and I'll see you in the next video.